In this short video, Fiber One will demonstrate how to splice a universal fiber cassette. First, you will need to gather the materials you will be using to complete this task. A provided accessory bag. An installation guide. A marker. A buffer tube cutter. Kevlar scissors. A fiber stripper. Measuring tape and isopropyl alcohol with lint-free wipes. First, begin by removing the cassette and placing it on your work area. With the top cover open, unwind the 900 micron pigtails until there is one full loop inside the raceway. Position the pigtails over the splice holder location and cut to the right side of it, leaving the correct length for splicing. Now unwind the 900 micron pigtails completely and set them outside of the cassette. Secure the buffer tube to your work area so that it routes into the top of the cassette from a 90 degree angle. Lift the cassette's top cover and route the buffer tube into the underside of the top cover through the entry point located on the bottom right side. Be careful not to kink the buffer tube or exceed the bend radius. Coil the buffer tube around the outer perimeter of the top track starting on the top left side, moving counterclockwise creating one loop. At the marked location, score and remove the buffer tube. Clean the exposed 62-inch 250 micron bare fibers using an alcohol damp wipe. Optionally, wrap friction tape around the buffer tube approximately 2 inches from the breakout point. When tightened, the tie wraps will grip onto the friction tape and prevent the buffer tube from sliding. Pull the tie wrap through and secure it to the hinge of the cassette. Pull the tie wrap on the inside of the cassette as shown. Push and slide the tie wrap in so it doesn't kink the fibers. Once this has been done, do the same for the second tie wrap. Tighten the tie wraps to the buffer tube and then cut the wraps inside the cassette with scissors. Make sure to keep enough slack for the buffer tube on the top of the cassette. With the top of the cassette cover open, carefully place the fibers under the four tabs and route the bare fibers in a clockwise direction on the bottom cover making two complete loops. In a similar style, route the 250 micron fibers around the inside track of the raceway. Cut the length if necessary. Remove the pigtail 900 micron fibers and the bare 250 micron fibers from the tray and individually splice them using the provided splice sleeves and following the fusion splicer guidelines. For your convenience, we will show you the process of a fusion splice for one of the fibers. Make sure to complete this process for each fiber. After completing all the splices, carefully route the fused fibers back to the splice holder, starting with the 250 micron fibers. 
Place the splice sleeves in the placeholder location. Note that the splice sleeves are stacked two per splice holder locations. Then continue routing the 900 micron fibers on the inside of the raceway. This is a detailed look at what your cassette should look like. Check that all the fibers are placed correctly and will not pinch when closing the top cover. Place one of the provided labels in the designation label window and identify the fiber designations in the space provided. For more information, visit our website at www.fiber1llc.com or give us a call at 866-434-8877.